Hello, my name is Stephen Robles and I'm here to talk about my book review called Dream of Gold, Dreaming a Home by the author of Madeline Sue. So what's the book about? Well, the main focus of the book is the Chinese immigrants during the time of 19th century and early 20th century where the Chinese people um, from China traveled to the United States so they can get rich for themselves and for their families. Also, most of the Chinese immigrants that moved to the United States came from one area in southern Ch China called Taishan. The narrative of the story is that um, during this time, the Chinese Exclusion Act has taken place where the United States um, government didn't want any um, Chinese immigrants like coming to the country. And so the Chinese immigrants had to change their old way how they migrate um, to the country. So the old migration thinking that everyone thought of was something similar to the melting pot scenario where people from other countries move to the United States to we restart their lives and become part of the American society. Well, the book goes into this new concept called transnationalism where a person from a different country immigrates to the United States so they can focus on getting a job and still stay loyal to their homeland. Now, this leads to a new perspective on how America is instead of being a melting pot. They are also connected to um, other countries all around the world. Now, the book has like many interesting stuff that it talks about. For one, like how the Chinese immigrants get in the United States. Well, the, the Chinese immigrants cheat their way by having false papers and saying that they have a family relative living in the United States. Another thing that is interesting is the how it viewed the new life of Chinese people both in the United States and in China. For the Chinese immigrants, they had to work hard so that they can make money and send it home to their families while living with racial intentions from American people. And the Chinese um, people from China, they lived their lives um, living well off because of their fathers or sons sending in the money from the United States. Now, these, these two, sorry for butchering it, Jen Shang Zhong, um, Jen, Jen Shang Zhong and Kwa Kong, these are the um, two that kept the Chinese immigrants connected to China. For Jin Shang Zhang, they they're like people like who help the Chinese immigrants with trade, traveling from China to the United States, and also sending letters to their families. While Kwaikon are magazines that help Chinese people know what's happening in their homeland. And finally, the last interesting thing that the um, book talks about is the reason why Chinese immigrants went back to China. And so the book show a perfect example of using this person, Chen Yixi, um, showing that his experience when he moved to the United States was, um, was limited from the United States government of like getting um, richer like Rockefeller or Andrew Carnegie. So 
he decided to go back to China so he can be like those people in an empire. And so, for the strength and weakness of the book, I only saw um, just like strengths. Like I might be biased in a way, but I didn't see like that much weakness. It it had like um, it, it showed like why um, why like this new type of migration instead of like this old like we all believe in. And also, like, gives, like, a very good um, detail on both the Asian and Asian American history. And so, would I re recommend this book? Yes. If you are very interested in learning about Asian migration from China to the United States, then this is the book for you.